as Abrams works around the screen. Abrams with three to shoot inside McLaurin who lays it in. Well done. He's certainly playing with energy, Jimmy, but whether or not the energy is well expended, I think, is your question. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Coach told us one time the players you see take one side. The Illini now a steal. It's Paul with Richardson alongside, and Paul lays it in. Here's Bertrand on the baseline. It's blocked by Ola Shady. Edward gets it back, though, and hits. And able to knock down that jump shot 15 feet and in. He's back up to 10 for the Hawkeyes. And let's not say Ola Shady did a great job of following the ball. And Griffey hits a three. Here's Brandon Paul. And Paul hits a long two. There's opportunities at the rim. Brandon Paul gets it to go, so Brandon Paul coming alive. You know, I would just fall into sleep, you know, taking, not taking advantage of a missed uh, free throw. And the Illini take advantage of it as Richardson hits the three, and Illinois has battled all the way back to tie this one up. Times against Illinois. Clemens did know where it was. Abrams had the foul. And, and that one, Clemens has to be a little bit smaller. Okay, three years. Here's Abrams. Now Brandon Paul's going to have to put one up. And he got it! <laughs> you know, it's a great shot. You make it. Here's Paul. Left it short. Rebound in the ankle. Back up with it. And in! <laughs> Did he call it? Knowing that you can have an impact on a game, not from the offensive end, but defensively. Joseph Bertrand hits a three. The bench has really helped Iowa as well in this game. 20 bench points now for the Hawkeyes. Richardson cannot leave him open. 13 for DJ Richardson, and it's back down to six. Paul hits that one. Illinois falls to 21 and 10. They're 8 and 9 in the league, as are the Hawks. That does it from Iowa City. Once again, the final score Iowa 63, Illinois 55.